Welcome to the first tutorial project within Composite. The aim of this video is to very quickly allow you to immerse yourself in our modules and workflows. The objective of this project is to analyse a basic sandwich panel and generate a basic bill of materials including waiting cost. This tutorial is broken into distinctive sections. We encourage you to follow it at your own pace, replicating the design steps. Let's start in project space. This is where all your projects and product data is stored, including bill of materials and analysis settings. Right click on the project's name and select duplicate project. And select it in the project navigator. We can rename this project by selecting edit settings viewed by right clicking on the project. Click on the project to expand the contextual menu. Right click on the products to create a new product and organize your design work. Let's start by selecting our materials to be used in the project. For this we move over to CMDB. Composite gives you a library of generic materials free for you to use, or you can create your own materials and store them in your company library. The material library is data provided by Composite, which can be used across your projects. Company materials is your private materials library, which can be used across your projects. Project materials is materials specifically used within your projects. For this sandwich panel, I would like to have a skin comprising of two plies, a carbon UD and a carbon biaxial ply, with a core of a density of 115 kilos per meter cubed. You can use the filter to quickly navigate through the database. To assign the materials, select the materials and materials, drag and drop them into the project materials folder. Now you're ready to start laminate design in laminar space. We can close the CMDB window and access the laminar space module. On the left in the tree menu, expand the laminate folder to see your laminate groups and laminate families. You can also access global loads from this tree, but let's skip the global loads for now. To create a laminate, right click on laminates and select create laminate family. The laminate family creator will appear and prompt for a laminate family name, fibre type and manufacturing type. The fibre and manufacturing types are used downstream, defining usage and wastage factors and also certification requirements. For this project, standard settings will be applied. To learn more about how to define your own usage and wastage factors, please refer to the Bill of Materials Settings tutorial. The stack editor opens and is ready to add plies or cores. Let's create a ply by clicking on the green Add Ply button. Select the material from your project materials. Multiplier, so the number of plies, and orientation. Click Add when you're done. Repeat this process for all your plies and cores. Now we've defined our outer skin and core, we can define the sequence type. We want this to be symmetrical and odd. You can see in the window this has been updated. Once you're happy with your laminate, hit save and close. During your design process, you can explore the laminate properties and response through the tabs along the top. Now you have your laminate defined, we can move into analysing the laminate by using it in a 2D section or a 3D component. For this example, we will skip section space and move directly into FE space.
In the FE space module, we use our product, which you defined earlier in the project space. Expand this to see the folder structure. You can add as many folders as you require to any product, available by right-clicking on the product or topology group. For now, we will use the folder named group to keep our FE model in. Right-click and create FE model. Let's call it curved sandwich panel. Hit save and the FE model editor will appear. We can stop this model from being automatically taken into the bill of materials or analysis reports by deselecting the tick boxes below the name. There are a few ways to generate geometry in FE space by importing it, manually creating it or generating it from a template, which is how we will create it in this tutorial. Click on the model menu and select create shell from template. This wizard allows you to generate a flat or curved panel, including materials, loading and boundary conditions. Let's create our curved panel with a radius of 1000 millimeters. A length of 2000 millimeters and an arc length of 800 millimeters. Next we need to assign the laminate, which you created earlier. You could also create the panel directly from a material, straight from CMDB. Move on to define the load case. Assign a support and a pressure of 0.05 newtons per millimeter squared. This will be generated at the origin of the model, but you can use the position tab to translate the panel as required. Click Create. Composite has generated your shell, boundary conditions and loads automatically. To edit the laminate, expand the Structural Elements folder. This is where your shells and beams are organised. Expand the stack and click on Apply to view the orientation. Next we have to mesh the model. Click on the Mesh button on the bottom toolbar. You are able to optimise the mesh. Refer to the FE space meshing tutorials for more information. For this model, it should be good enough to get you started. To rotate the model, hold the right mouse button and move the mouse. You can zoom by using the scroll button. You can view a load case by expanding load cases and clicking on the load case. To calculate this load case, right click on the load case and hit calculate. The task will be sent to our solver and will be stored and available for you to view in the tree. You can also lock the task and rename the task using the padlock icon and right clicking and selecting rename. Click on the task to view the results. You will see the deflection results open. Open the result settings from the bottom toolbar. You can view the nodal, element and reserve factor results in here. For now we will just check the reserve factors. Hit calculate and the reserve factors will appear. From here you can further optimise your laminar geometry. For now though we are ok with the results. Exit the results by going back into the edit mode on the bottom toolbar. Save the model and exit. Now we have our sandwich panel designed and analysed, we're going to create a bill of materials. Exit FE space and open the BombGen module. You will see your products in the first window. This will allow you to organise your projects into different products, allowing versioning or a quick comparison between two or more products. Click generate to create a bill of materials for your product. 
You can see the total product material quantities and cost in the main screen. This has been automatically generated from the FE model's mesh. If you make a modification to an element, you can bring in the latest data by clicking the orange Update with Source button in the top right. There are many functionalities within BombGen, including manual element creation such as surface elements, bondings, reinforcements and beams. We will generate a laminate table and BombGen report based on our FE model. Right click on the group and select Export Laminate Table. This will allow you to download the laminate table with weighting cost, where you can copy and paste it into an engineering drawing. We can generate a report within Composite with a standard format, allowing you to share and version the product's bill of materials with a revision number and date. We will go into report space to do this, but it can also be generated from BombGen. Exit BombGen and select the report space module. Report Space is a versioning tool, allowing you to create lamina space reports, bomb gen reports, section space reports, and yacht scan reports. Share and control versioning of the reports. Right click on the bomb gen reports folder and click Create Report. Give the report a name, select the product, and choose the report template. You can edit or create your own templates within Report Space. Click Save and the report would be generated. You can share the report by generating a PDF or sharing by web link. The report will be saved within your Composite environment and remain available for your records. In this tutorial, we have covered basic projects and product management, project material management, laminate creation, panel creation and analysis, basic bomb generation, laminate table generation, and a bill of materials report. And we encourage you to try the other tutorial projects available.